This is Wild Chronicles. I'm Boyd Matson. You can't outrun them. You can't really outthink them. You just have to be respectful. But perhaps it's the grizzly that should be afraid. Bears are running out of space. There's not much time left for them. National Geographic photographer Joel Satori is out to set the record straight. Bears are animals that are trying to make a living. Simple as that. While vast tracts of land have been set aside for wildlife throughout Alaska, much of the North Slope has been designated for oil exploration. Prudhoe Bay, the largest oil field in North America, is home to a dozen grizzly bears. Prudhoe Bay at one time was a vast, open, pristine tundra full of wildlife, everything you could think of, and now it's basically an industrial zone and there's a few straggler species hanging out. But what you mainly see now are great concentrations of grizzly bears that come in to feed on garbage. So I'm up at Prudhoe really to look at the effect of the oil industry on bears. Once humans settle in bear territory, it's virtually impossible to keep the two apart. And the results are not always good. It's a different story out on Kodiak Island. There the bears pretty much have the run of the place. Here they have few fences to worry about. A national wildlife refuge takes up about two thirds of the island. Even though not many people live here, it only takes a few bears in a human neighborhood to cause problems. In Larson Bay, the garbage dumps are 24-hour diners. And as Joel watches, an incredible scene unfolds. You could say that these bears have actually been raised to eat garbage. You've got a place like Kodiak Island, it's full of salmon, and yet these bears are gonna stay in this dump all summer long because it's so much easier than going out and catching fish. So they're just gonna stay right here. They hear you guys coming, it's like dinner bell. beach in Katmai National Park is a great place to photograph bears in the wild, away from humans. Joel is here for a specific reason, and veteran filmmaker and guide Mark Emery is along to help. I'm here in Hallow Bay to see something that I've never seen before. Bears out on a big stretch of beach at low tide digging for these tiny little clams and getting a little something to tide them over until the salmon come in and the grass greens up. We need a bear that's tolerant, we need a low tide, and we need good light. And that doesn't happen very often. But at the next low tide, two bears are out on the clam flats. You know, what you're seeing is just play behavior with uh, three-year-olds. These are evidently siblings that may not have even seen each other for a while. They certainly wouldn't hibernate together. They meet each other out here on the clam flats and just play a little bit and have a little fun. Which is the kind of behavior that makes for great pictures. But Joel still hasn't got the shot he really wants. I need to be fairly close to a bear in great light, digging for clams with a beautiful background.
The next low tide is Joel's last chance to get his shot because the plane comes back in just a few hours. And at last, it all comes together for him. The right tide, the right light, and the right bear. Okay, this is way cool. It's just perfect, just lovely, lovely. Alaska's a great place. They've set aside the land that they need to have places like this. I'm standing out here, I'm waving my arms, I'm saying, look, time's running out for this species. Do you care enough to save it? I hope so. I do. 